Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Give me just a second. I've been struggling with some technical difficulties. Trying to make sure everything is behaving itself. It keeps trying to tell me it's not. And I keep saying, no, no, you should be behaving yourself. Okay, so according to this, I'm coming through. Uh, so I will trust the audio mixer. Um, now, is... Is there a game? There we go. There we go. There's the game. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Crimson Plays. Well, Watch Dogs or Watch Dogs Wednesdays or whatever the hell you want to call it. But welcome back. And uh, thank you for being here. Um, before we get started, no new announcements, but I do have this. I want to remind you all that I have this patreon.com slash crimson night where you can support me if you so choose. Uh, and if not, that's OK. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive back into Watch Dogs 2. All right. So I have done a little bit of uh grinding uh before we get properly started um as you can see i've uh research gotten some more research stuff done uh i went around and grabbed all of the research points that i that were littered around the world that i could find i got a bunch of money and to that end drum roll please i now have the papa vero I know I'm in the way of that, but I, I have the Papa Vero. You can see it down here at the bottom of the uh, right, right below my camera here. Um, and so between it and the noodle car, the Cyrix noodle car, um, I now have two of the fastest cars in the game. I also found uh, previously <coughs> that I really like the Sunrim EV as well as the Zisume R. Ugh. And uh, one of the other things that I want to get at some point, though, there's no rush to this <coughs> is the is it the Scafati? Claro, sí. No, sí, claro. Mata. Sí, I think it's the Fia Meta or Fia Ma uh, yeah, Fia, Fia Meta, I think is what I was thinking of. And... This one's pretty nice, the Boxburg R1. And the 336 TT. Those are all pretty great. But the, uh... <laughs> the Void Dasher is the Fiametta. Uh, so I want to get the Fiametta so that I can have a red version of the Void Dasher, basically. Anyway, before we get back into it, though, uh, while I was doing some running around, I realized that my mis amigos down here wanted to have some conversations. So we're going to do that. Yes, yes, new challenges available. Look be dang. Let's talk to our babe Sitara. The cats are all scrubbed clean. And Kiki? Up and running. Don't worry. Follower data is all there. We've been getting support on the back channels too. Even some XP8 members. P8s? Really? Can we make sure they're vaccinated before we let them in? Well, we already neutered them. <laughs> because of the server. The whole server struggle. The cats are all clean. Primate cleared out of that bunker pretty quick. Word is that a few of them are looking to join us. But I don't know. Hey, I'll believe it when I see it. 
Technically, we could use the help, but can we trust him? Million dollar question. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can we qu can we trust them? Big old question. All right, Josh, what you got? So I figured out that Primate modified the game over Zeus botnet to deliver the payload. I've updated our security protocols, and Sitara is running inventory and backups. Good work, Josh. Shouldn't have happened. Won't happen again. We learned. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. Hell yeah. Get knocked down, you get back up again. Something's burning a bit of a hole in my brain. I can't seem to shake the idea that I missed a date with fate again back in the desert. I mean, that giraffe thing was something else. And I did make some glorious promises to that popsicle lady, but I was hoping to meet up with Alice. Seems we can't quite intersect. Alice, huh? Then maybe she'll find you. Ah, yeah, well, she likely knows where I'm at at all times, but it's getting a message from her that's taking its time. She's the reason I held up in Pawnee longer than was healthy. Yeah, fair. All right. Now, uh, dead sec app. Let's see here. What's next on the list? Caustic progress. Meet Lenny. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't remember which one I was going to do next, or if I'm in the middle of something. I'm, I'm reminding myself. Alright. Okay, so that one's the Meet Lenny. That's unlocked. Uh, that one's still locked. Meet Satara. In the pawn shop. Nah, let's see what Lenny wants. And then we can reward ourselves with some Satara time. Alright, let's call in the new car. We want the Google car, the Noodle car, I mean. Or the Papa Vero. Noodle, Papa Vero. Let's go with the red one. I wrote the last one! Hold on, just a second. Okay. Now, where is Mika? Ooh, right there. Oh, look at her! She's beautiful! She a beautiful mess. All right. <laughs> I haven't played too much cyberpunk. I don't remember how to drive in Watch Dogs. Which is hilarious because when I was playing cyberpunk the other night, I was like, I've been playing too much Watch Dogs. I don't know how. I don't remember how to. Hold up. Okay, so we just got a bunch of these blue ones, which are just money and time, uh, money and, uh, experience. So we'll hold off on that for now. Okay. But yeah, it's funny, because I was driving in Cyberpunk, uh, last night? No, night before that? I don't remember. I was driving in Cyberpunk. Um, and I was just like, I've been driving too much in Watch Dogs, I don't remember how to drive in Cyberpunk! And, oh, fuck. Oh, this poor, beautiful car! Fuck me. Fine. This is why we don't get... This is why we can't have nice things.
too close. I'm just bouncing off of everything. Oh, found a research point that I missed. Good to know. That was a... Hold on. Is it still on the map? It is still on the map. Okay. That's just... This poor car is so not doing well. <laughs> Ride it. Drive it like you stole it. Isn't that the phrase? Drive it like you're not the one paying the insurance premiums. <laughs> Poor car is going to sputter to a halt. <laughs> Now I've told the story. <laughs> Anyone you can walk away from, right? Right. Oh, there you are, Ivan. I was wondering where you were. How are you doing? Key data nearby. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, you are also easily addicted to things that are like it. To be fair. Do we have a queen? We have a queen! Hey, girl, how you doing? All right. And yeah, Vaughn, I know I'm a rude ass. <laughs> uh, Vaughn, the queen says hi. She, in fact, she specifically says, Hi, Queen Bee! Um, but I'm doing alright. I'm glad you're doing well too, Queen. As you can probably see on stream, uh, Queen, uh oh, there we go. Uh, Yvonne replied and she says, hello, your majesty. How's work been treating you, Queen? Puppy! Pet the puppy! Pet the puppy! Hey there, little the week has been tough? I'm sorry to hear that. It's almost done. Well, you're halfway there. Why has the week been tough? Don't worry, I won't, like, say anything on stream. 
Very nice. That's right. You're very close to the end. decided to show up and what without the rest of team shit show hmm good luck oh don't be like that hey, hey, hey. <coughs> we get my friend here a drink this a water man not nah, beer two beers oh, this is a prime player in my spank bag he's got an ass like a woman so fucking licious i mean look at that look at that pop, 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 pop. pro tip you intimidate them to get faster service <laughs> you know you could do the same thing with a smile and a compliment Hey, man, that was really fast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You fucking fake. At least I'm honest. You're a goddamn swindler. <laughs> You're a swindler, too. That's why you brought me here? Hmm? What if I told you there was a bunch of homeless people prowling the streets, their bodies infused with experimental nanotech? I mean, think about the kind of exposing and the uh, truthing you dead sack D-bags could do with that kind of information. I mean, an army of robo-hobos? That don't make you wet? For real, though? For real. It's called Project Rincense. How do you know about this? Because the first volunteers were from my crew. I'm sorry to hear that, and Queen. Crew. But like you said, at first least you only have a couple weeks. Uh, you don't have long answer. left. <laughs> Here's the thing about biohackers, right? We want to be pioneers, so we take big risks. The Rencent. We had a lot of really sick grinders and nothing cool to show for it, so we stopped volunteering. And I'm supposed to believe that Rencent just turned and started kidnapping homeless people? Sorta. Of. You'd be amazed what a bum will do for access to a mobile clinic. Fuck off, you're just trolling me. It's nanotech. It's transmitting a tracking signal, 910 megahertz. Go ahead, scan it with your UHF, I'll wait. Okay, so what? Your little vial is transmitting. It's been real fun, Lenny, but I'm not crawling in the mud with you. Oh, you totally are. Don't call me again. You're an ambulance chaser. You can't resist this. Hey, Marcus, welcome to Asshole Club. <laughs> oh, you got I think I gotta check out Lenny's info on the homeless deaths. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's a lot of interest in nanotech in the Bay Area. Many people believe it's the next major step in human evolution and body modification. Plenty of biotech companies are experimenting with it. Sounds like you know a bunch about this kind of thing. I want wings. Can I get wings? Can you imagine me with wings? That would be so awesome. That's theoretically possible, however. Unlikely in the near term. All I'm hearing is a lot of blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can have wings, Wrench. Stop pestering Josh. Come on. Wouldn't you want wings? <laughs> wings! No. You know what kind of hell that would be managing clothing with wing holes in the back? No, what I'd want is nanotech tattoos. They can change their patterns. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. That's much more likely to happen. We may even have the technology for it already. Rock on. Matching dead sec nanotech tattoos. Man, imagine having nanotech hair. You'd wake up feel like, you know what? I want to have pink hair today. Boop. Right, Queen? That would be fucking awesome. I'm at awesome. the homeless encampment now, guys. Time to start digging. Yeah, we did some digging of our own. Anything good? No, but a lot of bad. Higher than average deaths among the homeless population. A noticeable spike. Oh, that's definitely bad. All right, just a second. <laughs> because I have to reload a page. Ramona Flowers, yes, or, you know, Cyberpunk. Oh, oh God. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. The game didn't crash.
Amen. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, uh, I just heard about those mobile clinics down here. Just wanted to learn more about them. Why? You look like you could afford a real doctor. Look, this is my hood, man. Just want to know. Fine. What can you tell me about it? Showed up about a month ago, offering checkups, shots and things totally free. You just gotta sign some waiver saying they can keep your info. <sighs> that seems kind of weird. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, those guys that died, did any of them go to this clinic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you should find Marty. He went to the clinic and, oh, he's looking real sick. Where can I find him? He's around here somewhere. Lay down yesterday or the day before. He hasn't got up since. I didn't say shit, Thanks, Yvonne. <laughs> so why are you coming at me like that? Looks like I better go find Marty. By all the regulations, they still kick me out. What do I do? I guess sue them? I don't know. What have we here? Pamphlet all about free medical clinics. Why, yes, I'd love to know all about that. <laughs> oh, oh, fair. That's fair. Hey, buddy, you doing okay? Yeah, 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 fine. Just uh, can't see straight right now. You want me to take you to the ER or something? No, doctor will just. I had just worse. totally moved on in my head and I'd completely forgotten doctor. I'd said that. Did you go to the free medical clinic? Or are you saying you felt worse after you went? Ah, oh, nurse said the shots make maybe you know feel sick for a few days. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm not going back. Uh, I saw what it did to Marty and Joseph. Marty and Josephine? Joe's dead. Yeah. Marty will be soon. Do you know where I can find Marty? No, he's lying on a couch nearby. Lay down yesterday. Hasn't moved since. Oh, poor fucker. That's for sure. Hang in there, man. They're running it like free TV. Pretty lady selling a nice car. Motherfucker! Out in education center. Why wouldn't I want to walk? I think I'm crazy. Holy shit, man. Hey, hey, you want some help? Says I'm good. I'm doing fine. She will see me again next week. <coughs> the doc at the mobile clinic? Yeah. You need something, kid? Look, I'm 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 actually just trying to find out more about the clinic. What they're injecting people with. I don't know. Just shots. But when I, I saw one of the docs threw away the injector gun thingy. Should a yellow can somewhere around here. Hey, that's useful information. Thanks, man. Sure. Sure. Poor guy. Injection gun. Looking for an injection gun in a yellow trash can. So sorry, sorry, sir. For the past five years. Rock bottom. Yellow trash can.
Lello. Ah! Maybe? Yep, right there. Feels like I'm in a cyberpunk sci fi movie. <laughs> hey, Josh, I found an injection gun. The guy I talked to said this is what they've been using at the clinic. Excellent. Sending you data now. I'm using it to update the scanning app Lenny showed you. You should be able to use it to scan for more nanotech. That would be useful. Yes. Mm. Looks like they do broadcast. You should be able to use your phone to track down where people with nanotech have been. As you get closer, the signal will get stronger. Anybody in there? <clears throat> no! Town just gave yourself away, dude. I thought maybe saying no might give you the clue that I didn't want to talk. Fine, fine, look. I'm just trying to find the mobile clinic. Oh, oh no, don't do that! Shit, look, I, I, don't do that! <clears throat> Listen, you may be stupid, but no one deserves that. Don't go to the clinic. I just want to find out more about it. They trick people into free healthcare, inject us with tiny machines, and watch to see if we live or die. Eh? You know it all. That was uh, a lot of information. I know it sounds crazy. The police didn't believe me either. But the clinic staff, they heard me. <laughs> and, and now they're trying to kill me. That's why you hiding out in the back, Kay. Oh! Oh! If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Right. Nanotech. Fuck. Lenny may be right. Nanotechnology could solve hundreds of medical problems. Diabetes, blindness, deafness, autism. Not to mention enhancements to our natural abilities. Yeah, all of that is pretty cool. But doing research on the homeless, without observing humane testing conditions... Yeah, would you do it? You know, try nanotech for... you know... Being non-neurotypical? Maybe. The experiment would be worthwhile, but... only if it were reversible. I like who I am. I might not like who I would be if I didn't have Asperger's. Yeah, that's a good point. How much of that shapes who you are? This one leads to Marty. Josh. Yes. Our friend Marty, aside from being completely passed out and scanning positive for nanotech, looks like there's an injection wound on his wrist. And what do you want to bet they injected nanotech right into his bloodstream? I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> I guess I'm not surprised either. That just takes me back to Marty, it looks like. Oh, 
supper. Jackpot. I think I found that bag the dog stole. Looks like one of the clinic doctors is gonna be missing their bag. Anything useful in it? Comb, gum, clip a card, and official staff ID. Complete with barcode. This is gonna be useful, I bet. Open, actually open this to get the car uh, let's get the noodle car this time noodle car noodle car ha ha he 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 noodle car i think we're on the right track definitely nanotech research going on here and not the authorized kind i would agree we need to track down whoever's behind this and shut them down Best bet for that is the mobile clinic. One of our scouts saw mobile clinics in the Prescott area. On it. Noodle car, noodle car. I just took out the electricity with the noodle car. out here comes the noodle car you're in the way and i'm fast get the fuck out the I, I lost the thread i looked down at my phone for half a second and immediately rear-ended somebody it's like it's a parable for real life Here, let's go get this research point. <coughs> Since we're here. Boopy doo, boopy doo. Of course it is. All right, where's the physical hack? Physical hack, all the way over here. All right. Spider drone, spider drone, does whatever a spider drone does. Spins a web anyway. Catches thieves by their hair. Watch out, here comes a spider drone. Boom ba da boom ba da boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom boom ba boom. Boom ba dum, boom ba dum, boom ba dum, boom ba dum, boom ba dum. 
Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. Thanks for the help. I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call. Tower. It's all right, walk it off, Marcus. They're only legs. And okay. And it's winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Got it. Ren sends is keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. I guess that explains the disappearances. Well. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. Is this also physical? Yes. Okay. And that's probably physical as well, so. Send in the buddy. Send in the drone. Excited for you, sweetie. Delighted you got into Stanford. Your father would be proud. We'll talk later. I am sure I love mom. Okay. Oh, damn. Well. Well. Come on. Let's grab. Let us... Let us... Some regrets, lots and lots of regrets. 
Hard hat. Oh you know what? Fuck these bitches. They're experimenting on the homeless. That is not okay. didn't go well y'all <laughs> I have some regrets yes I have some regrets found it time to put these guys out of business and leave a little virus to remember us by so long as they don't actually remember us or identify us at all yeah figure of speech Josh right Took that one to the face. Okay. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us or identify us at all. Yeah. Figure of speech, Josh. Right.
One down. Looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. That's two. And now I just have the third one. Hey man, how you doing? Sorry, Steam just interrupted. I don't know why it interrupted, but it did. Steam was like, no, I need your attention, no! Steam. Steam was just like, no, I must have your attention. Steam, stop it. I swear to Christ. <laughs> I'm just gonna end you real quick. me from hacking. Okay, there. Now they're all asleep. Three down.
just as I planned. We'll pretend. I'm leaving the area. I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Wrench and Zatara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Alright, where am I going? Okay, over here. Oh wait, hold on. Now that I've done that, uh, I need to actually swing by the hacker space first. Uh, damn it! Come on. Go. I need to swap out some of my equipment. Yeah, that that makes that's a lot of work, Queen. But it's very much well worth it, you know. Come on, let me in. Yeah, exactly. It won't be as much stress later. Oh, let's get rid of that. I want the... But, actually, do you want any actual weapon, any real, a real gun or anything? I mean, uh, nah, oh wait, just swap out the shotgun. Do we want anything that actually kills? Nah. Uh, nah. These are mainly just to buy myself some time when I, if I fail on stealthing. <sighs> okay. Back in my car. Head back over here.
Hey, thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. It'd be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Well, aren't and... you the cutest thing? Gee, thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank bank. Not you, shitcake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh. You don't mean me. Yeah, uh, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheek. Oh, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted a puppy. Do you want to come work for me? No. What do you want, Lenny, uh, besides harassing Josh? Oh, you are no fun at all. I want what I've always wanted, whatever Ren sense is hiding in there. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy-ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Yeah? Why'd you call DedSec, then? Because I need human shields? That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. Except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those D-bags. See, the thing is, I have the Super brain. Super creepy. I just need the brawn and someone to back me up in the hacking. And even though Captain Butt fuck annoys the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking, Josh and I... No, 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 We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But... Nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I am. And what is up with you and Josh? He reminds me of someone. I just really wanted to see the nanotech. Oh, sweetie. I will let you look at any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. So creepy. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget? Move! <laughs> I love that he lets her call him Captain Buttfuck, but shit widget but is over the line. Oh, Josh. The smile! The smile! <laughs> Looks like this is the research lab. Finally. Oh, he I'm knows hurt, he's Lenny. using her. I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, can you imagine the sheer quantity of tech they have hidden away here? It's like being a kid in a candy shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping people. And guess what? I'm a people. I'm good. You want to know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better, smarter, faster, more aware of the world around us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we are about to burn up the planet with wars and waste? the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be, but that's not what Rensense was doing and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy and they were using poor people's lives to do it. Yep. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room and open the door. Sure, want me to order you a pizza while I'm at it? Ha, funny, just do your job. I would like to point out that while she was hacking and ta uh, talking. I was hacking and talking and I was done a lot faster than she was. Come on, so. come on, come on. Fuck. No, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> Shit, fuck, fuck. You, come Marcus. on, come on, come on. Okay. Lenny got in first. Fine. We just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. I need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for experiments. Right. Plus destroy all the nanotech I can find here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again. Wipe their research data, 
<laughs> and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. And I don't trust Lenny any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. <laughs> that is entirely true. I wouldn't put it past her to have some of her little friends show up. Or use any nanotech she finds on other people just for shits and giggles. That does seem to be in keeping with her general personality profile. Yep. Totally Lenny. Glad we agree. Got it. Looks like they really are keeping prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. We knew they were doing that. Yeah, it's just hard to believe. What else did you find? Approximate locations where they store their nanotech, where they keep the majority of their research, and where we can find the deactivation codes for the nanobots. Looks like I'm good to go. We having fun yet, dead sec? Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout, just because I got in first, because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would ask your little friend. Josh, you mean? David, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Stop. Fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robot. Time to go boom. Realize how much research went into this? How many hours? I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions? Against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials. Damn it. <sighs> we having fun yet, dead sec? Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout, just because I got in first, because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would ask your little friend. Josh, you mean? David, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Stop. Fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. Wait a second, let things cool down a little bit. All right. Take a look around. All right, first things first. Realize how much research went into this? How many hours? I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh, yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You a mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch, just fucking with you. All the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical. And it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroyed the research and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. Claire, I'm gonna check another area. Oh, fuck. 
Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you anyone with half a brain would be interested? I mean, of course, that rules out most of you dead sex hugs. We've had some promising results from our experiments with managing blood glucose levels. This could be an excellent market for us. With the rates of obesity increasing and the way Silicon Valley companies feed their employees all the time, there's likely to be a large customer base. Damn it. I was doing so good too. Fuck me. All right. We having fun yet, Dead Sec? Yeah, it's like a party just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. <sighs> nah, nah, nah. No need to pout just because I got in first. Because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would have asked your little friend. Josh, you mean? David, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody who's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Ah, fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. We've had some promising results from our experiments with managing blood glucose levels. <laughs> Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. So that's a physical hack that I need to get the buddy, the, the little buddy drone for. Okay, that's just down this hallway here. Okay. So let's just go ahead and send the buddy this way first before we make all shit go to hell. I 
I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, a little robot scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe right. path out of here? Make sure doors are open. On it. Question is, are you a physical hack or a physical hack? Okay. Code. I see the code now. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are gonna be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. Confirming all three. Realize how much research went into this? How many hours? I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, Crap. like all the that's chemo drugs and other experimental system. cancer treatments. It and it's not like that's what you're here for. Asap. Oh yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch, just fucking with you. <laughs> and that is why Lenny is a bitch and a villain. Oh, they found my... They found my hero. My hello buddy. Oh shoot, I'm missing some. Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroyed the research, and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. Not how that works. That's all three. I'm not just gonna let you destroy all the nanotech, no way in hell. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out both of you dead sex drugs. Yeah, an out. Okay, I blew up their nanobots and freed their prisoners. I've tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. Hey, good work. Now to get out of here. And I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace her steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way.
She's nearly out, Marcus. You need to hurry. Shit, she's gonna get away. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers. Or sell it. Yeah, yeah. without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus. Is that the nanotech? Mm-hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? Oh, uh, no time. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are you gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Here. Take a look. Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds. Okay, show and tell is over. Gotta go. He just deactivated them all. Hey, what? The, was that? Yes. You didn't stop her? Oh, I stopped her. <laughs> you straight played her. Don't fuck with the hot sauce. Yes, Josh! Yo, that, that's like a line from a disco movie. Damn, that's my boy. <laughs> I love Josh so much, and I love how hyped pack Marcus is for you. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech? Yeah. Within the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions, anti-aging treatments, psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like Rensense. Testing has only just begun in its current form, and testing requires guinea pigs. Rensense took your homeless, tempest tossed your wretched refuse, and injected them with experimental nanotech. They ask them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual depots. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. There is no obvious way up here. Is there a train nearby? No. Uh, not really. Hmm. 
Well, well, well. There's no train nearby, there's no lift. No obvious ladders. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. That's not the button I wanted to push. Is arguing with me. Please don't argue with me, phone. All right. Y'all got stuff to say? No? Apparently not. Okay. All right. What's next? Nope, not that one. This one. The one where we have to meet Sitara. Let's go do that one. We gon' meet the babe. Stay out of my Sorry. Space. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, I don't feel like calling a car. Yay! my valuables and then oh, talk well. to Sitara. Hey babe, how you doing? How you doing? Got a dog? <laughs> no. No. I'm just a naughty little newbie waiting for the NSA to penetrate my ports. Citizens of the world. Are you ready for death sex? Oh. Yo, I didn't think this was your style. Relax. It's cool. The point is, it's a branding problem. <laughs> and if somebody wants to fuck us over, I'd rather they do it to my face. <laughs> the director's a real art house shit stain and stalker extraordinaire. We humiliate him on camera, we get more followers. I don't like the guy much. He hurt one of my friends in the industry, turned her into an addict. So I trashed his accounts. One thing led to another, and Wrench and I firebombed his 1972 Cadillac. <laughs> God, that thing burned beautifully. Score one for Sitar. Hmm. He's filming down the street at BDS Mania. Make it spectacular, Marcus. Which is my hey, command. Wait, this is a pawn shop for porn stars? <laughs> right? Alright. So where am I going? Over here. His name is Alejandro Jakovsky. Bruh. I hope that's a screen name. <laughs> like a nom de plume. So what happened to your friend? Did you get her help? Stayed up long nights with her. Got her clean. It was hell, but we got through it. The problem is, someone who's been through that once, all it takes is a bad mood swing, and they've fallen off the wagon again. So she hasn't recovered? Most of the time. 
She's making progress, but he really fucked her up. I do think humiliating this asshole is gonna help with the healing. Consider it done. Warning, I don't know what all this will involve visually or content wise, so. I'm hoping that it won't be too explicit. I don't remember. like the crew's having some kind of rooftop party. Maybe your guy's out here somewhere. He won't be. Unless it's on set, he avoids social interaction like the plague. If they're shooting anything inside, that's where you'll find him. Total control freak. They're so happy with their new robo toy. That thing scares me. I know it's not just a prop, right? There's AI in it. So, I know it's not possible yet, but imagine if that thing is All right, hold on. Before I get too much into what's going on here. Oh, that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I was going to go get that research point with my drone, but whatever. <coughs> yeah, there's absolutely nudity over here. I'm going to try to keep my camera away from it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how I'm going to get in. Oh, that's a nice hot tub. Going to keep my camera away from people. Okay. Okay, let's see the magic being made. Hopefully this is not too explicit. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> so I need to find dirt on what's his name? Alejandro Jakovsky. <laughs> right. And then spank him, literally, and film it. I need it for my video. You sure you don't want to be the one doing this? She would smash his skull into tiny pieces, which doesn't work as well for our image, as fun as it sounds. He's not exaggerating. Right, so that means I need to try to isolate him. If he's busy filming, I'm gonna have to do a little social engineering. I got a plan. Let's hear it. It involves a little disguise work, a little gumption, and a whole lot of fluffing. Man, fuck you. Hey, when you're faced with a shaky ladder, you need to get a firm grip on the rungs. Son? No, right, just no. Listen, we have a safe word policy on set and we follow it, period. If he can't pronounce the damn word, I blame the American education system not teaching our youth better. I don't know how I'm responsible for it. Is he even American? I'm not so sure. Maybe he's an illegal. I'd rather be looking at an illegal worker fund than whatever the fuck you're implying. Get on it! Uh. <coughs> I 
Let's go, sex bot. Show me your secrets. And I'm muting that. Okay. So I'm going to just talk over that. My scenes have two primary actors, only two. If there's a threesome, one of them's going to be less in the spotlight. That means a lesser credit. Do I give a shit if that excludes them from some tacky porno award? No. Not my problem. I'm not even sure what I'm being sued for here. Somebody has to fill the additional fucking role in the production. It's in the damn contract. Sorry, sweetie. You want better credit? Get better at Hi, Yvonne. End of story. Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying very hard to keep this from Sitar, being a thing. My alien sex cynical robot got me into BDSM's bookkeeping. A huge chunk of proper money was deposited recently. He's been playing dirty. I passed it along to one of our dummy accounts. You can pick the charity and redistribute. That's so sweet. I know just the one. Also, alien sex tentacle robot. I've named him Pokey. <laughs> of course he did. What's next? Well, now that the money's gone, I'll use it to scare Mr. Jackofsky off the set. Kind of a free ticket to Spank City. That's an excellent porno title. Let's crowdfund it. Consider it back. What are the tier rewards? One thing at a time, people. Its name is Pokey. Yup. Were you here a bit ago when Josh was out in the field with me? Before before we got into the porn sex robot business. Phrasing. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
card? Aha, there we go. Okay, well, we're gonna keep the blue screen on because she's very much not clothed. Um, ah, there we go. And we're just gonna. Alejandro Jakovsky. Ah, Yablonsky is his real name. Alan Yablonsky. Okay? Which shoot? Daniela's Inferno. Well, that's green screen. Yeah. Oh, so don't use the green one. Hey, well, she got there. Time for your close-up. Who the fuck are you? Oh shit, you're dead sick. Ooh. Hey, you know, I heard you really like it rough, right? So, I was wondering if you could take it as much as you can dish it. Oh, it's time to join dead sec. It's your initiation. So I'm thinking he should join us. So listen, director, I'm in charge of this film, and here, I want you to say I love dead sex every time you feel a little eh back there, okay? So what are you going to say? Let's just go straight into shooting. No rehearsal. I, I love dead sex. You know your lines. You're off book already. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I am making pay. Sitara is scary, and I love her. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we got all the footage we need. Yeah, yeah. And then this is great. <laughs> Just desserts for assholes who get their employees addicted to drugs. Abusive assholes, toxic assholes, all the assholes. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Felt it too. Youch. We've been looking through Jakovsky's files. He has some very questionable business partners. It'll take a while to get through them all. In the meantime, our video is almost ready. Just waiting on you to come home. Hey, I have a question. Do you think he became a pornography director because his last name was Jakovsky? Or is it just a coincidence? Ha! <laughs> Han. 
It's an alias he uses to sell his brand. His real last name is Spankitsky. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Earlier today, a Rensen spokesman denied allegations of the company's illegal experimentation. The medical tech giant maintains that all human testing is done on a voluntary basis. But the deceptive wording in the contracts leaked by hacker group DeadSec. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. I was trying to get rid of the phone screen and not the fucking, uh, uh, news broadcast. Basically, it was the news talking about the fallout from the, rent, the previous mission. I feel like I did, did a decent job of preventing anything un, too untoward on screen. Sitara? Will you let me talk to you? Need to... Interesting. Oh, wrong thing. I want that set out. Come on, let me talk to you, girl. Let's teleport to the other side of the map. <coughs> oh, I... sorry. Sorry. Oh, Listen. sorry. You all are just blocking the doorway there. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. Let me know if you need anything. So, I was an idiot. Yeah, I don't have enough for anything. All right. And now fast travel back. Please work. Or is it eight fifty two? Okay. Hey girl, you're gonna let me talk to you now? Why is that? set an alarm for like noon
Okay, well, I guess I can't continue that one yet. So weird. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we'll move on with a different mission for now. Hey, Marcus, you should try Roxanne in Tang War. That's, that's Elvish. Hey, Sitara, put this up on the screen, Josh. It's from Miranda. You're being followed. A friend of mine has given this to you at great risk. Watch your backs. There's a target on it. Target? What? That's us. Fuck. Right now. Here, check this one out. Someone's spying on us from right outside. Hey, hey, hey. Shit up. Hey, be cool, man. Sneak out. I'm gonna go out the front and see if I can uh, spot our tail. Yeah. Satara so was having fun with some karaoke there. Away. There's a van. Yeah, that's them. Get what you can on. the FBI but they are going to absolutely kill me all right set up differently I'm not looking for your restricted area. I am totally looking for the restricted area. Whoa, whoa. There's a van. Yeah, that's them. Get what you can on. Oh shit! What? 
It's FBI. You hacked into the FBI. Listen, I got into their comm channel. Somebody's trying to access our data source. Get all agents out here. Converge on the suspect. Check everywhere. Not getting away. Wow, those FBI agents just whole ass. Yourself and surrender. Uh. Ah! Ah! Did you see that? What's going on? Some hot shit anti hacking demon picked up on what we're doing. Hold on a second. Oh, man. Came up fucking behind me and I didn't even see him coming. Shit. Alright, I need a better hiding place than that. Alright. Tell everybody I'm on my way. New friends and new places to see. With blue skies ahead, who could ask for more? But up, 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 up. Hi, what's up? I thought housing in Marin was supposed to be cheaper than San Francisco. Everything here is either too expensive or inside a trailer park. Yep, that tracks. Something, something, something. Capitalism. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. There's a van. Yeah, that's them. Get what you can on. Oh, man. Oh, I'm out of range. Who are these people? They got a ton of stuff on us. Lots more photos. and looks like a map of Josh's daily movements. Other stuff? What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? It's FBI. You hacked into the FBI. Listen, I got into their comm channel. Trying to access our data source. Get all agents out here. Converge on the suspect. time. We're getting an incredible amount of stuff here, man. We gotta broadcast some of this. I'm a little busy right now, Wrench. Huh. Totally. Reloading. <laughs> There's a van. Yeah, that's so. Get what you can on. Who 
a ton of stuff on us. Lots more photos and looks like a map of Josh's daily movements. Other stuff? What the hell? Oh shit, oh shit! What? It's FBI. You hacked into the FBI. Listen, I got into their comm channel. Somebody's trying to access our data source. Get all agents out here. Converge on the suspect. About time. We're getting an incredible amount of stuff here, man. We gotta broadcast some of this. I'm a little busy right now, Wrench. Huh. Totally. I leveled up. Okay. Um, well, could I? I could. Ooh, yes, please. Blackout. Yes, please. Oh, I love the blackout upgrade. All right. Wrench, what is it? We're messing with the FBI, man. We got to totally restrict communication on this. Okay, but. I... Minimal communication, M. Face to face is best. Meet me at the place where. You know where. Wrench? Wrench? Damn! 
To the cafe then. Marcus, we've been trying to contact Horatio. He's not answering and his phone doesn't show any movement. Horatio? Can you make sure he's okay? I'll mark his phone on your map. Sure. Horatio? Ah, this game is so beautiful! Look at all of that! Shit. I tried. Not really hard, but I tried. The FBI were fucking watching us and now Horatio's gone by. Horatio. No, we can't kill the one other black man in the game. Or put him in prison. Ranch. Uh, you like this place, huh? Food is average. <laughs> uh, get anywhere? I can't tell if she thinks my mask is hot or creepy. <sighs> the heart eyes. The main FBI office is in the Delamus building. We really need the rest of that data. Because? Because something hinky's going on, man. Something big. Different hackers I know, they've been noticing fans following them around and shit. Uh, well, it wouldn't be the first time the FBI's tried to strong arm hackers. Join us or die type shit. It why now? The timing is suspicious, given her popularity. How much do you trust Ray? He might have cut a deal. Oh man, no way. 
Hey, trust me on this one. Maybe Miranda can help. Yeah, maybe. She uses a car service all the time. I'll tap into the feed and show up as a driver. Can I, uh, can I get you anything? Uh, I'm just leaving. But can I ask you a question? Mm hmm Do you think my friend's mask is hot or creepy? Both. You staying for another cup of coffee? Have a good one. I just realized she's the girl he has a picture of up on, above his workspace at the hacker space. <laughs> Aw, Marcus being that wingman. All right. Uh, before I do that, though. Is this the one we're missing? Yeah, that's the one we're Horatio's mission. So that's the one we'll do first. Okay. Is this a Papa Vero? Yes, this is Papa Vero. In fact, it's my car. Just all cleaned and gussied up. Oh, God. It's so far away. All right. Give me the map. God damn. All right, we're gonna teleport over to here. This, we gonna find out what's up with ratio. All right, I'll get in the convertible. Shit, that that's at a fucking right angle. Okay. Please be okay, ratio. Oh no, it's just his phone. I found the phone, but no Horatio in sight. There's got to be something. No clues, but there is a street cam. Okay, yeah. Hooking into the camera. Let's roll back the time code and see what happened. There he is. Who the hell's that guy? Get out of there, Horatio. Yeah! Jesus! Fight back, man! I don't believe Three on this. one. Jesus, they're fucking kidnapping him! We gotta figure out who they are. Josh, get some facial wreck going. Fuck! They look like Tezkas? That one's pretty clear. Louis Trevino. Yep, He's Tezcas. a member of the Tescas gang. The Tescas? Oh, shit. We need Trevino's movements. Got his phone number. GPS footprint centers on a building nearby. Putting it on your map. Void Dasher. Void Dasher.
Horatio, man, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, man. I'm going, hey, call 911, Josh, call 911. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, man, I'm here. Help's coming, okay? Hang on, hang on. Hold on, man. He's, he's dead, guys. Star Josh, he's fucking dead. Oh my god, Marcus, get out of there now! Fuck! Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're smart, right? Yeah, I'm smart. Not so smart, he didn't get caught. All that shit you seem to know, you're gonna feed to us. I'm not telling you shit. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, fuck me, boy. <laughs> no, 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 cuidado, cuidado. No, no, no. Get out of there, Marcus! You've, you've got to get out! Not yet. I want to track these assholes down. Any unusual phone activity nearby? A lot, practically next door. Okay, it doesn't appear to be an easy way under the roof for me. What if I send out my little hopper buddy? How 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 high can you hop? Ooh, I could do that. That that would get me in. Okay. Oh fuck me. I go that way.
Eh, I got my drone. That's okay. I don't think I can just hop into that, can I? No. Ah, well, okay, that works. coming in cocaine gambling extortion weed more cocaine names yeah good find out who the ones that grabbed her waist you are oh shit dang it forgot the head dogs I want to track these assholes down. Any unusual phone activity nearby? A lot, practically next door.
suspect is implicated in the murder of an SFPD officer. Proceed with extreme caution. It's all coming in. Cocaine, gambling, extortion, weed. More cocaine. Names? Yeah. Good. Find out who the ones that grabbed Horatio <laughs> are. I want the test because they know I'm coming for them. Burn something down, man. Yeah. I'll burn the pot for you. It's right here. They use an illegal pesticide. At high volume, it's extremely flammable. I'll just switch the irrigation system to the pesticide. Then flood the fields with it and light it up. Let's start the show. All right, that should get their attention. Get out of there. We're looking through the data to figure out the next target.
Now those fuckers know we're after them. Let's do something that'll really hurt. We're with you. They're about to ship out a huge cargo of cocaine. I've marked it on your map. Destroy the coke, and it'll hit the Tescas hard. Hey, see anything? Good to see you, Retro. You know the whole Dead Set community is with you on this. Everybody likes Horatio. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. What's the story here? I hacked into the security cam and rolled it back a few hours. You can see the Tezcas loading crates onto the boat. There's a ton of guys with guns. I like a challenge. Thanks for the heads up. Good luck, Retro. Into the guys. <laughs> Just dropped it right into the water. Like a dumbass. Alright. Can I go through the window? Maybe? Yes. Alright. So I need to get that. Ah, rude. They won't like that. Three more, though. Shit destroyed. Down to two. That's 
takes care of that one. One more to go. Good night, Queen. Sleep well. No way. Oh, yeah. If you're still there, Queen Yvonne says good night to. Oh fuck me. I missed what Marcus said because I was hitting escape to try to pause the game. Charlie, ain't nobody gonna shoot at us and run. Find his ass. Ain't nobody shot at you. Yvonne, she says good night to you too. Where's my car? Dude, where's my car? I don't know. I'm addicted. None of these are my car. Fine. I'll take this one. Oh, there's some cash over there. Yeah. I do I actually have to this thing's in just no fucking way. Okay. Trying to be clever ended up making it worse. Okay. There we go. All right, the Tesca's in that video, the ones grabbed Horatio and killed him, they're next. The main guy is Pablo the Skinner. He's hidden away somewhere. The other ones are Luis Trevino, Tina Huerta, and Jorge Gutierrez. They're meeting in the dry canals to figure out what to do about DedSec. Good, let's get them.
Good to see you, Retro. All of DedSec is proud of how you're fighting for Horatio. Thanks. What's going down? I've been listening in on their phone calls. Trevino is there already. The other two are on their way. That's all I need to know. You get yourself someplace safe. Good luck, man. Fancy. Just trying to steal y'all's money. Don't leave me alone. Tracking Gutierrez. He's arriving at the site. Luis Trevino won't bother us anymore. Bastard. Got a bead on Tina Huerta. She's just arrived. She'll regret it. That asshat Gutierrez is taken care of. Did not see him right there. Oh, okay. All right, so I have the cash, so I don't need to do that again. Okay. All right. I think I have a better way of doing this.
tracking Gutierrez. He's arriving at the site. Actually, while they're while I'm waiting for them to arrive, I'm gonna get myself in a better, stealthier spot. That's good enough. Got a bead on Tina Huerta. She's just arrived. She'll regret it. All right, two of them are together, waiting on the third. Oh, Marcus is being detected. She's still en route, so I have time. Get Marcus to a place where he will not be as easily noticed. Hold it back, damn it. Let me chill out here. Need to get them all three in the same spot. Puerta's out. That asshat Gutierrez is taken care of. Trevino won't bother us anymore. Bastard. Huerta, Gutierrez, Trevino. A small measure of justice for Horatio. Get out of there. That bastard Pablo is next. Time for the ringleader. Pablo the Skinner. I've tracked him to the dogfights in Oakland, Chinatown. We got a dead sick member out there casing the joint for you. Let's get this guy, Marcus.
Hey. Retro. What's the deal here? Dog fights go down in that building there. Used to be an indoor swimming place or something. They only admit members, though. Any way I can slip in? Pretty sure you can go through that restaurant. Good luck, man. Anything any of us can do to help? Thanks. We need a low profile here. I'll head in alone. Hashtag vengeance for Horatio. Buddy, you get that in the restaurant? Tastes like shit. You don't look so good. I complained and those thugs over there roughed me up. If you want to go in, avoid those assholes. Okay, that works. Motherfucker. That's that. I'm happy to greet you. Can I guarantee some really bloody dog fights tonight? Yeah, I love you, Mark. Get a good look each. Wow. And I said, I know I ain't the death guys. She knows that you know the shit. Slow as I'm around, the death guys are strong and will remain strong. Let's do this.
Reports of a suspected terrorist near your location. Sending visual now. Well, the Bratva missed, or whoever it was I sent after him. The gang's missed, so let's send the coppers. That's where the Sons of Ragnarok are. They're now in conflict with the Tuscans. Coppers. Bratva. No, it was Bratva. Because it says it right there. Okay, are the cops not coming? For Horatio, bitch. Well done, Marcus. Better get out of there as quickly as you can, Marcus. Unlike the others, which I knocked out, this one, this one needed to die. That's done. 
The Tescas won't bother us again. Marcus, come on back to the hackerspace. We need to commemorate Horatio. And this will be the last thing we do on, on uh, stream for the night. Get there quick enough, brother. Shit, man. Tesco's gonna come after any one of us, dude. Me, you, Josh, anybody. They went after Horatio, and he refused to give us up. I'll be along in a bit, man. Well, we got the FBI on our asses. That's a sure sign we're doing something, right? Nothing new for you, right? Nope. But I've never been a fan of close shaves. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Because beard. Been researching the FBI. Apparently, they spend their time infiltrating peaceful protest groups. It's like Eastern Germany of old. Pretty soon, it'll be report on your neighbor, get brownie points. Yeah, it's no joke. <laughs> Marcus, I thought you'd want to know. I hacked into the Tezka's bank accounts. Got quite a bit of money. What are you going to do with it? Already sent it to Horatio's family. Josh, man, that's amazing. We could be in some serious doo-doo, my friend. Does it surprise you? Doesn't surprise me, but it does make me wonder if I'll ever have my plump wife, 2.5 children, and luxury sedan. I think the risk is worth the reward here. And hey, See, if you get the caught, waitress they can from visit the you in jail. Donut <laughs> shop up caught, there. We're just appearing down some hole. That's guaranteed, my friend. Sure felt good to take down the Tescas. It sure did. I mean, Horatio's gone, but we finished it for him. Right? Right. It's gonna have to be good enough. Yeah. <clears throat> the FBI totally crashed our party. They didn't even bring beer. Pisses me off. You missed out on the jello shots. Hey, you guys will have to make it up to me. And then here's the the final of the porn <sighs> thing. I think he's gonna need one of those inflatable donut things. You know, can't put too much pressure on the cheek when you sit down for the deuce. All right, people, drop what you're doing and gather round. Be fast. Hey. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Citizens of the digital age, welcome, welcome. This is a message to all who would oppose dead seconds. You target one of us, you target us all. Let's see what acclaimed porn director and human shit stain Alejandro Dukovsky has to say about his recent attempt to harass one of our members. Alejandro here is getting a taste of what he puts his own actors through. When you're as much of a sadist dickwad as he is, it's important to be able to take as much as you hand out. Our message is simple. Don't fuck with dead sick. You give me the truth. Do what you will.
Hey, buddy. You got a light? Yeah, sorry, brother. You got him. Bring the van. Hey, where's my ten bucks? Well, that might be where we have to leave it, y'all. Oh, I won't let me. Okay. Darn. I was trying to be clever, but it won't let me. down fast or I'm dead. Okay, stalled it. But how do I kill it? Oh, too far. The Bratva grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, not my finest moment. Ain't nobody's ever punched a hole in the wall for me before. Thanks, Wrench. Yeah, don't mention it. Bratva grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, not my finest moment. Ain't nobody's ever punched a hole in the wall for me before. Thanks, Wrench. Yeah, don't mention it. Okay. All right, this Guys, is gonna go the bloody the way. grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. Oh, it's hi, gotta dog. be in there somewhere. Fuck. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. Damn it! Turn around and immediately get murdered. Okay. The Bratva grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. Oh my god. It's like I'm a human with no body armor or something. Guys, the Bratva grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. 
Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, not my finest moment. And nobody's ever punched a hole in the wall for me before. Dog. Thanks, Wrench. Okay, I need to... Before I start shooting, I need to take care of that dog. Guys, the Bratva grabbed me. Try to take me out with a car crusher, too. What the fuck? I told you guys something was wrong. This could be payback for BDS mania. Why would the Bratva care? We'll keep looking through Alejandro's files. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, and Wrench punched a hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not my finest moment. Ain't nobody's ever punched a hole in the wall for me before. Thanks, Wrench. Yeah, don't mention it. Down this damn jammer. Here's my gear. I think I'm clear now. Find anything? Yes. Alejandro Tchaikovsky. Bigger creep than we thought. Turns out Tchaikovsky uses illegal Russian immigrants in some of his films. Trading passports for performances. It's all documented. And of course the damn Bradfa made all that happen. Look. Well, I think that gives us more than enough reason to hit him back. Duh. I'm coming to see you so we can figure this thing out. Okay. And we're back to the hacker space. Buddy, they just lost Horatio, and he was so worried that he lost Marcus too. Oh, burn their shit to the ground, baby. Okay, that's that's one way to do no, it. No, 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 that's the only way to do it. All right, fast and mean. This one's mine, Marcus. Marcus, don't you fucking sideline me on this one, bud? Okay. This one's mine. All right, all right, fine. We do it French style. What do you need? All right. Okay, well, Satara linked a bunch of house sales to one guy. Brat by royalty. So you, you literally want to burn that shit to the ground? French style, baby. Okay, all right. Hey, let's do it, yeah. Awesome. All right. So now, before we do it wrench style, baby, I'm gonna talk to Satara. <clears throat> okay, they don't seem to want to talk at the moment, except for Satara, who has not yet talked to us about Horatio. That was good work getting the Tescas. All of DedSec pitched in. Yeah, I'm proud of our little club. It's a shame it took a tragedy to make it clear just how much we can count on everybody. They'd have come together for any of us, Satara. They got our backs. Absolutely. Yeah. 
make sure my equipment's good. All right. But that is where we're going to call it. <laughs> I really was going to try to cut it off with him getting kidnapped. But it fucking wouldn't let me. I'm so mad. Ah. I'd been sitting on that. I was watching the time. I was watching the time. I was watching the... Uh, I was watching all of that shit. I'm just like... I know what's coming. Because I played this game before. I remembered that in the porn star... In the porn uh, storyline, Marcus gets kidnapped. I had forgotten it was after Horatio died. Um... And that it canonically takes place after Horatio died, which is why it wouldn't let me talk to Sitara um, before that. <coughs> and I realized that might be the case. I just, of course, didn't say it out loud. But I was hoping that I could end it on the on the cliffhanger of Mar of Marcus getting kidnapped. But um, nah, obviously it didn't let me. But that's okay. We're good. That's it for the night. We went a little bit over time, but that's okay. Um, remember that I don't stream tomorrow, but on Thursday, but, uh, we will be back on Friday with, uh, Evan, do you remember which game I said it was that we were, that I, which game I finally decided on for Friday? Do you remember? Was it gone home? I think it was gone home. <laughs> Does gone home sound right? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, then yeah, it, it's either Gone Home or What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's Gone Home. So yeah, that will be Friday night. Until then, check out these amazing people I have listed up right here, which includes Yvonne B, who's been in the chat. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. And if you actually go to Linktree slash Crimson Knight, you will find uh, links to my socials, my Discord, uh, my YouTube, my Patreon, etc., where you can support me, follow me for updates, and hang out with me and my friends, and catch my, the, uh, the VODs of all my streams uh, after uh, for free, essentially. Um, or you could subscribe to me on Twitch to get the VODs if you so, uh, if you so choose. If not, it's fine. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Uh, we'll be back on Friday. Uh, so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I will see you all on Friday. I love you all. Peace out.